So I guess I'm trying something new today. Uh, something where you actually get to see my face. I feel I should apologize straight away. The original concept for this video when I recorded it a month ago was to create a 3D game in an afternoon. Unfortunately, I found out shortly after I finished recording that the sound of my keyboard is hugely amplified in my mic, and so ruined most of the audio. If it's any consolation, while at the start I'm plenty chatty, explaining my thought process, it didn't take long for that to drop off, leaving swaths of silence as I think and type. But I haven't released a video in a while, and I wanted to at least explain how my Twilight City concept started and continue to evolve. I'll let my former self cover this bit. So what I've been thinking is something similar to Fifth Element. Um, if you've seen the film before, you'd, you'd know that there's a, a particular scene where, um, I was going to say John McClane, of course it's not John McClane, whatever his name is, um, he, he's, he's fleeing the police, but he's flying through this kind of cityscape um, Yeah, that looks like this. And I was kind of thinking, this is almost a perfect example of, of where you could have a endless runner type game where you're fleeing the cops or maybe something similar to Crazy Taxi, I'm not even sure, where you pick people up and drop people off, who knows. Um, but at the same time, you've got all of these objects constantly flying around that you have to dodge. So can I replicate something like this as a game where all you have to do is stay alive while dodging things, I guess, um, in a day? Now, I don't know. Let's, let's see how far I get. I think the original reason I chose this idea was due to a recent foray into space, where I realized quite quickly scale would be an issue. You see, space is huge, and simulating something that huge can lead to issues with how computers store numbers, such as the player's position in space. There's a few ways I know of to solve this, but the one I wanted to investigate was having the player remain stationary and have the rest of the universe move around them. I figured I'd rather try this on a smaller scale to get my head around it first. With the original audio for this video unusable, I've decided instead to discuss scope creep. While originally the game was almost two-dimensional in its origin, with simple block buildings, that nagging voice in the back of my head always asks, but what if you add more? So the simple block buildings had to become nicer, the 2D movement and static camera became fully three-dimensional movement, and three-dimensional movement of course meant that the buildings had to surround the player entirely, and suddenly the simple implementation of traffic would need a fully routable road network. And lo and behold, a simple concept that I'd almost managed to flesh out in four hours had suddenly evolved into a huge project with a backlog of ideas to implement. The Endless City might just be a single level in something far bigger. So once again, I'm yet to finish a game. But for me, the joy of game dev is less about completing a game and more about the journey of making games. The challenges of solving problems and learning new skills and the evolution of often simple ideas into something more. The original goal may have been to complete a game in an afternoon, and while I may have failed, that afternoon was far from wasted. I'll leave it there for now, and just accept this video is not what I wanted it to be. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully I won't screw up in the next one so much.